it's popping people it's double lion and we back <laughs> um so it's ash's season let's check out my defenses oh shit two kill success into a five kill success i actually haven't seen the second one the first one made me pretty happy though it's a uh, guy used brave factor but it's plus 10 and he also has a plus 10 uh, disarm trap Cronia, which is really cool. And then his other units. Uh, <laughs> he brought a level 1 legendary Eric as his bonus unit. That's kind of funny. Uh, I guess I'll turn on animations for the defense replays. Let's see how it goes. One turn to set up. And let me see, what's he running on this thing? If he was running the quick repose seal instead of attack defense solo, he'd be much better off. But he still wouldn't be able to kill my Tanya. People severely underestimate her. Yeah, she hits him for 24 times 2. And this Hector, his base defense is 50 with a Naga on the team. And it's funny because her base attack is also 50. But yeah, Kronia can't do any damage to her. She hits her for six. That's my favorite voice line from her. <laughs> Are you blind? And danced again. Goodbye, Hector. And he just forfeits. That was just super satisfying. Beating a giant plus ten unit like that. With my little cat ear girl. <laughs> Uh, on to the next one. I haven't seen this yet. Okay. Nothing merged. Plus one Renea. Plus two Nagi. So, oh wow, his uh, catapult. It's only level three, but it took out two of my things over here. Uh, that is a huge mistake. Naga only has 37 HP, and her attack is very low. It's not going to be enough to kill this Tibarn. Yeah. He has an impact skill, so she can't double him. Now he gets to Gale Force and go crazy, and Lilith will be able to Wings of Mercy to him, because he's at low health. And then Tanya's gonna move and kill something. Yeah. Lilith hits so hard. And Altina should die. Yeah. Altina can't do any damage to Tanya. The twin blades might do a little bit. <laughs> But it's not much. Oh man, and she kills Renea in one hit too. This unit is so strong. It's actually insane. Okay, continue. This Nagi really can't do much. Yeah. He just ends turn and dies to this here. Okay. Now we fight. My teams are set. I guess I'll just show you them real quick. Nothing special. Fallen Knight with Flane and Lucina support. Yeah, I have two planes. One is Light Blast, one's Astro Blast. I just got really lucky on the banner when I was trying to spark Shamir. I decided I would. Snipe colorless because I still need Tanya merges, and when I while I was sniping colorless, I got two flames, and then I decided to go full circles until I got Shamir from the spark. But I also got a Catherine while doing that. Yeah, she's right here. I haven't used her yet. I don't know what to do with her. Anyways, yeah, I have a bike team that's just the same as this one except it's bike, and then I have a. Brunia team, 
Eichenbrunia, Bikenbrunia. <laughs> Very simple teams. Okay. Actually, let me move this somewhere else. And go to the bottom. Uh, Alright, let's start. Duma, this looks like a Fallen Ike team. She's kind of scary, but her uh, defense stats not that high. 37, that should be easy to break through. Let's see. I believe Brenya can also handle this, but I'd rather just use Fallen Ike. It's probably easier. Yeah, he has a level 7 Bright Shrine, so I'd love for Fallen Ike to just eat that up. There's also a Panic Manor here. I just want to think about how I want to do this. I think I want to get rid of that Healing Tower, but I'm not sure how. Maybe it's not that important to get rid of it. Yeah, it's a good ball on the right side. Jeez, all these things attack stats are so high because he has two Dumas. Alright, well, Fallen Ike is for sure the way to go. I think I'll be able to out damage that healing tower. Oof. It's a level 7 healing tower? Maybe not. How do I want to go about this? Okay, so the only unit that can move here after one turn is the leaf, but the leaf will be dead. So after turn, after the first turn of me baiting, I'll be able to hit the healing tower and nothing can really stop me from doing that. So let's just set up, however. Oh, I don't want to go about this. And I'll just send Altina to get the pot on the left side. Take 14 damage from the Duma. No big deal. I have a flame. Um, do I want to go this turn? I actually see no reason not to. I'll go. I'm just going to place him here. Her attack's really high, but after I soak this Bright Shrine, I should be able to do a lot more damage than what it shows. And plus with Lucina here, it'll be different. So let's see how this plays out. Okay, it's not too bad. I should have broke the tactics room. You have my trust. You choose. So he's going to get a little bit of healing. However, that's okay. I should be able to kill this Hector. Or not. <laughs> All the swapping, man. This has to go now. So I think what I want to do from here is... Bait like that. So now he can't heal anymore. It's a little unfortunate that I can't put 
put flame in range, but it's fine. Lucene has more than enough. Why aren't anything attacking? This is actually frustrating. Of course. Okay, you die. That's good. This actually might be tough to kill them all before it ends. I'm on turn five. I'll stay like this. What special is that? That's an Aether. That might actually hurt. I did not notice that was an Aether. This Lucina is going to get hit hard. She's actually probably going to die. Oh, I messed that up. Yeah. If I noticed that was an Aether, I wouldn't have broke this structure you just yet. Well, that's fine. Astra season, it's always tough. I should have just brought Brunia. I was thinking I can just snipe all these things with the duo Makai on that team, but I thought Ike was the safer play. Should have just went with my gut. Um, it's Reinhardt. He's Blue Tone Breaker, which is actually kind of funny. I think this is a bike team. Yeah, a bike for sure. I have to be careful not to kill everyone. Frederick has high defense, but I still think he'll die. That's so weird. He's running quick repost on that Lin. I feel like that might be an accident. So I do think I use this team. It's actually a tough choice to decide where to bait from. I want to say I go here. I just do this. I should be fine. Okay. Wow, Leaf did even less damage than Bravelin. Okay, well that was easy. Let's see. Well, she's not going to be able to hurt Lane either, so it doesn't really matter what happens here. I got both fonts already. Why couldn't this be my first match? It's not a big deal though, it's only one ladder. Alright, 
Let's see what's in our rank. Always go to the top first. Oh, I was hoping they would give her Dragon's Eye here. It's plus 10, you may as well have went all the way. Benthrift, solid. I don't know if I like using close foil on a defense team though. I'd rather just go all out offense. Salak is cool, plus 10. <laughs> this guy, man, he's always with me. I always see him the first day, first couple days. I guess it took him that many orbs to get this unit, I would assume. Oh man, this guy went all in on a Midori. That's really cool. Mad respect. Plus one to barn. Solid. I have three of those. I don't know how I got them. And I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nothing too interesting. Oh. Solid. Attack speed solo. Low attack speed. Gale force. That's cool. I wish horses could use flashing blade though. For the seal. Or anything. It really sucks that they can't use flashing blade. But I do like this. Her weapon's really good. Holding two broomsticks. Oh, what's this Branya? Solid, for sure. And, alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Peace.